uh, week's stories of hope uh, shedding light on suicide to find hope for people who are suffering. One woman has lost many loved ones to suicide, but she's using those losses to help others. 7 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie explains what she's doing to pay it forward. It's not only the people that are victims of suicide that are suffering, but also their loved ones. And nobody knows that better than Katie Hardy. She and all knows eight people that have died because of suicide. The closest one to her is her mother. That's actually the last day that I saw her. I moved to Denver that day. So that was literally like the last hug I had with my mom. Kate Hardy says her mother was full of energy and extremely goofy, but her mother also went through extreme lows, suffering with bipolar disorder. I'm trying to figure out what she's thinking. You know, what are you thinking about? Like, what was going on at that very moment? Was she having a hard day that day? On November 7th, 2003, Hardy got the heartbreaking phone call. Around 1.30, I got a call from my dad and he said your mom's dead. This is not the only call like this she would receive. After suffering the loss of eight people close to her because of suicide, she wanted to do something to offer hope to the families who lost their loved ones like she did. I did that so often, it just kind of came to me when we decided to make a nonprofit. Now she runs Six Feet Over, a nonprofit helping pay for expenses for suicide loss survivors. It's a different kind of grief in general. Uh, we really just don't want them to feel alone and have that extra financial burden or have any extra burden that they don't ha have to have right now. This is enough. This is enough. You know, let them grieve. Hardy is able to fund Six Feet Over through donations. And if you would like to donate, you can find her website on our website at WXYZ.com. Ellie Hoxie, 7 Action News.